Hello year one and welcome to Tuesday's Maths. So today we're thinking about subtraction crossing tens, that's when we go beyond 10. But before we do that, we're just going to review what we did yesterday. So yesterday we were thinking about using the number line to help us uh, complete subtraction number sentences. Now we came to the end and we had some word problems. So there's one more word problem for you to have a quick go at now. Okay, so Lucy has got 17 apples. She gives six to Sam. How many does she have left? Okay, so I'd like you to use the number line to find out the answer to that number sentence. So pause the video now and have a go at that. Brilliant. Okay, so can you remember our first job was to write down the number sentence. We've got 17, take away 6 equals, and then we used our number line to help us find out the answer. So I'm going to start on 17, I'm going to make 6 jumps backwards, so can you help me? One, two, three, four, five, six, and I've landed on the number 11. So 17 take away six gives you 11. Can you say that with me? 17 take away six equals 11. Super. Okay, so let's move on to what we're going to do today. Now, this is a really tricky one. But you did a great job with our tricky ad by making 10 last week. So I wonder if you could do a brilliant job as well today. I'm sure that you can. So we're thinking about um, subtraction crossing 10. So we're going beyond 10. And to do that, we're going to partition the whole number to help us. Okay, so can you see that our number sentence that we want to find out the answer to is 15 take away 7. So I've got that here, but I've part, I want to partition number 15 to start with. So I've put a part whole model there to help us, okay? So when you set out your work, so this one we're going to do together. When you set out your work in your book, if you um, write the number sentence and then put the part whole model underneath the, num the first number, the whole, it will help you to work out what the answer is, okay? So underneath my white box, I've got some step-by-step -step instructions on how we're going to find out the answer to this number sentence. OK, so we've got these 10 frames up here to represent the problem. And I know we could find out the answer by looking at those, but we're not going to because when we come to do much harder addition and subtraction and as you go up the school, it'll be really good to have this method to be able to use. That's why we're practicing doing it now. So with these smaller numbers, so when they get bigger, the numbers get harder, you'll be able to do this method. OK, so we're going to have to keep the 10 frames there as to help us when we come to the end to check we've got the right answer but we're going to use this method that I'm about to show you to find out the answer to 15 take away 7. Okay so let's have a look at the first step. So it says partition the 15 into 10 and 5. Okay so I'm thinking well I've already put the 10 in one so I've got the number 15. Now this 10 is representing how many 10s there are in 15 and there's one 10 in 15 isn't there? So that's the number 10. Now the 5, so I've asked you to partition the 15 to 10 and 5. So the 5 is coming from the 1's number, okay? So 10, 1, 10 and 5, 1. So there we go, I've done my first step. I've partitioned the 15 into 10 and 5. Right, let's find out what the next step is. Take seven from the 10. Okay, so now I'm coming over here and I started to write another number sentence. So this is involving a couple of steps of working out. So we're using a few different number sentences to help us. So I've put the 10 over here and I put take away. And that says take seven. So I'm thinking, where can I see a seven? Where have I got that seven from? Oh, the seven is from the original number sentence. That's the original thing we wanted to take away. So here's my seven. I'm just underlining that to show that I've used it. I'm using this seven here, I'm going to pop it here. So 10 take away seven. Okay, now to find out the answer to this one, I'm going to use our number bonds to 10. So you can remember last week how I kept saying how important it was to know those number bonds to 10. We can use them to help us find out the answer to this. So 10 take away seven. Well, if you look at the number seven, what do you add to seven to get 10? I think, what do you add to seven to get 10? You add three. So 10 take away 7 is 3. Now you can do a double check by using your fingers just to make sure you're right. Get yourself 10 fingers. I'm going to count backwards until we get, we'll count 3, it's count 7 down until we get to the answer and see if it's 3. Okay, you ready? 10, 9, 8. Oh, hang on. Miss Adams is going on. Miss Adams needs to count the fingers that I'm putting down. So I want to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven. Okay, I've taken away seven. How many have I got left? I've got three left. Fantastic. Okay, but I'm not finished yet. I've got more steps underneath this box because I've not found out the answer to 
15 take away 7, I've just done part of it, okay, so let's see what's next. Oh, there we go, it's just telling us the answer, so 10 minus 7 is 3, we've done that already, fantastic. Okay, next step, so then add on 5. Hmm. What am I adding 5 to, where have I got 5 from? Can you see a 5 that we haven't used? Oh yeah, look, the 5, which is the 1's number in 15, we haven't used that 5 yet, okay, so we're going to use this 5 here and we're going to add it to the number 3. Okay, so this is our answer from here. So we're going to write a new number sentence. And we're going to be switching our brains from it from subtraction to addition. So swap them over. We're going to be doing an adding number sentence now. We're going to add five, add three. Okay, so that's this number here. That's where I've got the three from. To find out the answer. Oh, that's not that. D equals to find out the answer to five add three. There's a few different ways you could do it. You could use objects. You could do it in your head, you could use your fingers. Okay, so let's use our fingers together. So get five and pop it in your head. Brilliant, and then get three fingers because that's what we're adding on. So we've got that five in our head, we're gonna count on from five, six, seven, eight. So five add three equals eight. So now that's the answer to my numbers. I've reached the end of the steps. Let's just double check underneath here. Yeah, that's the last step. Five plus three is eight. Okay, so that means that this number eight here is the answer to my number sentence. 15 take away seven equals eight. Now, like I said, we can use our tens frames up here to double check our answers. So as I said, we could have just found out using the tens frames, but the whole point of us doing this is so that we're practicing using this method of partitioning so that as you go through the school, going to year two and year three and so on, that you've got this method uh, really clear. Okay, so let's double check how many are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, we were right. We've got eight left and we've used this method and we've got the same answer of eight. Brilliant. Okay, we're going to move on to another one. And this time, this is question one. So we're going to do it step by step again, but I wonder if you could have a go this time. Okay, so it's asking us, first of all, Partition the 16 into 10 and something. Okay, so your first job is to write me this number sentence, 16 take away 9 equals, then draw a part whole model around the number 16 and find out the two parts. So we already know that one of them is going to be 10. So tell me what the other part is so that you've got a completed part whole model. Okay, so pause the video now to have a go at doing that one. Brilliant, okay, so if 10 is one part, what's my other part? How many ones are there? There are six ones. So hopefully you've got a part on that looks a bit like mine now. You've got 16, take away nine, and then under the 16, you've split it up into two parts, 10 and six. Brilliant, okay, so let's look at the next instruction. Take nine from the 10. So here's the nine, we're using that number next, and we want to take it from this 10. So let's underline this nine so we know we've used it. Going to put 10 here, so 10 take away 9 is what we want to find out. Okay, so I need you to write that number sentence now and I need you to find out the answer. Remember, you can use your number bonds to 10 to help you. What do you add to 9 to get 10? And that will be your answer, okay? So pause the video now and find out the answer to 10 take away 9. Brilliant, well done. So when we add nine, when we've got nine, we want to get to 10, we add just one more. So 10 take away nine equals one. And remember you can do a double check by getting yourself 10 fingers and taking away nine, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got one left, okay, so we were right, fantastic. Have I found the answer to 16 take away nine? Is it one? No, it's not, we've got, still got a little bit more to do, okay? So 10 minus 9 is, well, it's 1. We've got that. Brilliant. Then add on something. So which number have I not added on? I've not added on this 6. I've not used this number 6 yet. So I'm going to use this 6 here and I'm going to add it to this number here to 1. Okay, so let's write that number sentence. 6 add one. Okay, and that's a nice easy one, isn't it? That's just one more than six. So your next job is to write me that number sentence six, add one equals, and then write the answer at the end. Okay, so pause the video to do that now.
Fantastic. So the answer to six add one is seven. One more than six is seven. Brilliant. Okay, now have I completed my number sentences? Let's have a look. Yep, I've got, I've added on this uh, six. Six plus one is seven. So I finished all the steps. So that must mean that seven is my answer. So 16 take away nine must equal seven. So let's double, double check now with the 10 teams to help us, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Brilliant, okay, so that was your question one. So I've got one more question for you today. Question two, this time we want to find out the answer to 14 take away five. Okay, you're gonna have a go at all, this one all on your own. So the steps are all there to help you. Okay, so partition the 14 into 10 and something. So thinking about what other part we've got. Take five, which is this number, from the 10. That's just helping you 10 minus five is. Then add on something. So you're thinking about this number here, you're adding that number on, and then you're going to work out what that is. Okay, so just have a go at doing this one. I know it's really tricky. Okay, have a go, just thinking about partitioning the number, then putting the 10 over here, taking away this number here, and then you're doing some adding to find out the answer. So just have a good go at it, and then come back to me and we'll go through it together. Okay, so pause the video now and have a go. Brilliant, okay, so let's follow with my steps. Partition the 14 into 10, or I need to put the 10 in, and the other part will be four because there are four ones. It's one, ten and four ones. So I split up my 14 into ten and four. Okay. Now I want to take five from the ten. So that's this number here, the five. We want to use that one. I'm going to underline it. Okay. I'm going to do ten take away five. Remember you can use your number bonds to help you find out the answer. So what do you add to five to get to ten? Nice easy one. You add five. So ten take away five equals five. Okay, so ten minus five is five. Then add on something. So what do you need to add to that five now? Think about what number you've not used. So five add. What number have I not used? I've not used the number four, have I? So five add four equals. Then use your fingers or some cubes. So five, pop it in my head, add four more, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So five add four equals nine. Therefore, nine is the answer to 14 take away five. So 14 take away five equals nine. And then again, we can use the tens rings to help us double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Superstars. Okay, really great job with your um, subtraction crossing ten. I know it's really quite tricky. But I'd like you to, so I'd like you to remember this method for tomorrow and then we're going to have another go tomorrow. We're going to do exactly the same thing and then maybe I'll take those tens frames away as well so that you're really making sure that you're using the method that I have shown you. So really great maths this morning. I look forward to seeing the method that you've been using on Class Dojo when you upload your work and I will see you tomorrow to do a little bit more. Bye everybody.